Hi. I like to explain that, yes, the content you see in the background is not of one of Playoria's games, but it is said doors. It is because the footage I have is when I was a site member or a staff team person, and I don't wish to leak. Have fun watching the video. Hello there, this is Pureful Stars, and the topic of today would be my trip with Playoria. My experiences and everything. Our video will be covering my story, along with pros of the group, cons of the group, some suggestions I would have, a game review actually, along with a paired group review with our pros and cons, along with a little bit of comments that I have. I would like to please remind all of you to not harass anybody or any groups mentioned in this video, which, as I will say, would only be Playoria and Playoria's members. Starting off with our story. I introduced myself to the group when it was once named Angelical Sisters. The game that I joined was Hardy Haven, a village-themed game. I hopped on because I knew Kenji from Harmony Sisters, which has been shut down as we speak. They can potentially make a return, but I played for some time on Angelical Sisters game and hopped off. Some, some days or weeks pass by and they release their third official installment, St. Latania. I explore the game and I managed to apply for a merchant role, which would be their lower rank in the past, in January of 2020. On January 15th, 2020, I pass and I began a cycle of working and due to other issues in life, I have to resign from my positions. Basically a lot. I would say around four or five times in the three years. As we speak, it would have been February of 2023. As we're recording, it would be March the 1st, so two days ago. I resigned for the final time as site officer, which is their middle rank currently. I made theories on late St. Latania when it was opened. It was some of the most fun I genuinely had. I even tried to make an ultimate theory trying to piece together every single game from Angel's Paradise Peak to Crystal Valley Sleepaway Camp. It did not end well. It was half right, half wrong. But hey, I'm not a genius, I'm a theorist. Soon, Camp Crystal Valley was teased, along with a couple of other games. The submarine was done, which how we had our end of an era for St. Latania, slowly entering Crystal Valley Sleepaway Camp. When April 20th, 2021 came, Camp Crystal Valley was our main game as we ready for a new one, Everville. In October of 2022, I applied for their junior middle rank, Guardian Angel. On the 23rd of the same month, I passed. And here's a little side note. It was the least effort I threw into an application. I joked with Kenji previously that, hey, I can put in the most minimal effort possible in this application. Just get the answers correct, ignore the three sentence limitation, and I would pass. Kenji joked that I would, so I did it. I worked in a staff team for a while, around four months. On January 11th, 2023, I became a middle rank, site officer. Chaos ensued. Friendships happened, drama happened, and soon I left. Now we're on to our group review, the main thing of the video that I may be talking about. Pros of the group. Here is an issue. I can't really form an official list. Other than the game being well scripted and really well done, very functional for a horror survival-ish game, I say the map is pretty fine, but the lore is confusing to be honest. I tried to piece together it and while trying to figure out what timeline events go where and which, it has been confirmed that they do skips in time. Our biggest skip being Crystal Valley Sleepaway Camp, which seems about 2001-2002 to like 40, 50 years later into the future with Everville. 
which is a very big issue when trying to make that fit. There could be other long gaps, but the only one that really made it work, in my opinion, was Five Nights at Freddy's when it came from their first three games. But that's something you can look up from MatPat, not me. I'm not a FNAF tuber. I'm a Roblox YouTuber. When it came to being a staff there, their schedule was not that stressful, which is really good for, for when someone's being a beginner staff. And for those who play Divine Sister games before and wants a new setting, and this is honestly perfect. The whole change of a sanatorium on an island being from a campsite that you seem to get off from a submarine to is a really good change in a feeling. Now here's something that I've been through before. Our cons of this group. I am speaking on an unbiased standpoint here. So if any of the higher ups are in this video being mentioned or is watching, please do not take this to heart. But unfortunately, I have seen a lot of issues. Mainly the team of administration. That will be the groups of the junior middle ranks and middle ranks. They do not get enough respect and they do not have the authority at this point. Half of the time, final calls of moderation action go to Kenji. Kenji bans, Kenji kicks. Yeah, middle ranks will kick people, but half of the time we give them way too many chances. And speaking from my standpoint, half of the time I don't want to give them the chance. I don't want to give that user another chance if you can tell they will not improve on their behavior. It's pathetic to give them a second chance. And the fact that we gave some users like multiple chances, like going to like fifth, sixth at this point, we should just ban some mad apples already. It would improve our group and lessen toxicity. Kenji may ignore certain behaviors depending if they favor the person or not. Now, I am not accusing Kenji of favoritism. I do notice, however, that if Kenji seems to be friends with a user, if they break a couple rules, he's not going to like warn them instantly. Heck, sometimes he doesn't even follow his own rules. The group's popularity appears to have ran on drama that unfortunately has leaked into other groups. And even their discords, which sucks. When it came to the groups, it has mainly appeared in a situation that happened early February. It came to Xeno, or Noun, Noun Self Pronouns, and Neo Pronouns. Some has attacked others who has listed them, which have been a couple people in Play Oreo that has leaked into my group and other people's groups. Neo, for a history of Neo pronouns, sorry for my trip up there. Neo pronouns were founded in 1789 by William H. Marshall, who has used A as a pronoun, along with documents of William Shakespeare himself using thy. As a pronoun. Xeno pronouns, or now noun self pronouns as stated in my script, were founded in a Tumblr blog on 2013 or 2014. Although some members has accused people in the group of being quote unquote transphobic, with the incorrect information being they were founded in 4chan in 20, 20, 2001, which with a simple Google research. You can find a Reddit post that's basically saying that it is incorrect. That I would say with those things, the group is a hit or miss. Either you'll fit in perfectly or you just won't fit in at all. Yeah, you may make some friends here and there, but it's mainly the staff that are really the good apples. There's a lot of negative apples in the camper part side of the community. And it hurts. It just hurts. If Kenji wants a group that could be successful, he should allow 
them to moderate better. He should basically have staff of the admin team basically say, don't give them a second chance if you don't believe they deserve a second chance. Will this lead to abuse if someone applies? Potentially. But sometimes not giving a chance is a better option than giving them multiple chances. Now, here's my suggestions. Group review is over. Time for my criticism. Criticism. I can't pronounce the word and I'm not restarting this audio again. Take off some of the bad apples. Some members are not the best and I can probably list some with reasons. Mainly due to the pronoun issue. And I have seen a lot not comply with the rules. Specifically when it comes to cursing, Kenji has stated to not go overboard. I see some that go curse. One message later, curse. I don't curse in the group at all, but very few times I will. Because I'm not going overboard. But a lot of people do, which really sucks. Find ways to promote activity in your group. While you've seen promotional shifts, those are the really ones that work, or mass shifts. These promotional shifts are ran by junior middle ranks and above. But I like to say to see people get active through actual activity and not, oh, there's a promotional shift going on. If I do good, I would get to a higher rank. By now a former staff member, I would say bring back demoting the, those who be inactive by choice. Put a shift time requirement to keep the group staff team active and maybe boost the game's popularity. Although, don't go too hard. I would say, like, bi-weekly you should have one to five hours. And potentially maybe two hours a week. And two hours is about four days within the game from what I've seen, which is at least a bit easy if you have two staff and a couple f campers. It's really not that hard to do if... You can't really do two hours that day. You can go for a one day, one to two days, which will be 30 minutes to an hour, and your shift there, and do it another time when you know you're available. If you need to throw in an inactivity in notice, you can. Now time for the game review, which I stand from an unbiased standpoint, such as my other game review video. When it came to the scenery, it would be a 7 out of 10. While the island wants to appear full of life, given the main area that would have little trees around would be the campsite. While they do have areas without the buildings, the main island that like you go through to get to the campsite doesn't really have anything. You have a couple trees on the tilltops, but that's something that would give a forest feeling which is what I expected when I thought of Crystal Valley. When I came to traveling to the campsite, it's very simple, nice, and quick. Along with a scenic trip when it came to their bridge, where you simply walk over the water and you greet people on the other side. It sadly is pretty short, so you can't really observe the scenery. 6 out of 10. Our map in general, which is a hit or miss, actually. Some parts are really bland, and some are extremely detailed. And when it came to that, it will be a bit laggy unless you put low graphics on, which I have learned completely ruins the whole Crystal Cave feeling. I would like to thank Kenji for helping me with that. 7 out of 10. When it came to the building area, it has a lot of main architecture of log cabins. It lacks outside detail more than inside detail. I've seen the buildings inside details look so wonderful. So, so full of furniture, fits with their theme, 
Although, I wish for when it comes to certain ranks, cabins can be a little bit different. When it comes to honorary campers, the cabin should feel a bit more secure. Maybe have the current cabins look a bit run down and the honorary cabins look new. As honorary campers, from what I've seen, appear to be influencers or people who Kenji says to be honored to have worked along with or have honored to be in the group. Have a rundown, abandoned cabin for the unhappy campers or in other groups would be like the psycho patients or hollowed followers. And when it comes to staff who are the main people who help run the game, Give them something really high quality, something good. So I would say an 8 out of 10. I would like to see variety in the cabins with their exterior more. When it comes to the elves, it's pretty simple. You get an animation of your character going crazy. A lot of people call it yoga, apparently. I do too, actually. And your screen just gets filled with like a color goes black, everything goes fine, you just had your blur. 5 out of 10. And our final conclusion will be a 6.6 .6 out of 10. Could be better, and officially not the worst. There's a lot of games that I could have give a very low rating to at this point from what I've seen. So seeing a something that's not below a 4 is great. Conclusion of the video will be a heartwarming message. Thank you, Playoria, for letting me stay here since 2020. I may not be in, may not be as active in this community anymore, but I will always make a comeback once it gets better, camper-wise. Have a good day, and beautiful stars, locking off. Promotional time, by the way. Um, if you liked the video and want to state your opinions, you can let them know in the comments below. Maybe you want to flame me for some of my opinions, which is fair. Don't go too far. If you want to support the channel and hope it goes far, you can simply go and hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell too. You get all uploads once you hit that bell. Maybe you can also get community posts. I would also, also like to express that some of you who may be viewing my channel may see my old thumbnails and some thumbnails replaced with new thumbnails. I have recently taken some time out of my day to replace old thumbnails with updated versions. This will make the intro screen very inaccurate to the current persona, but sometimes a higher quality thumbnail is better than nothing. Have a good day, everyone.